One month ago, the C4 board went to visit the peatlands in central Kalimantan. We're all impressed by the determination, responsible action and innovation by local communities to restore peatlands and to build a better future. We should all do what we can to help and make sure that science, policies and experts support the efforts of local people. Satu kehormatan buat saya bisa hadir di forum ini dan terima kasih kepada panitia JLF yang telah memberikan kesempatan kepada saya untuk berbagi cerita lebih tepatnya tentang apa yang terjadi di Kalimantan Tengah dan khususnya apa yang kami lakukan di sana terkait dengan usaha untuk melindungi gambut dan juga melindungi masyarakat. Peatlands exist in at least 180 countries and cover between 3 to 5 percent of the total land surface area of the earth. 10 percent of them are tropical and of those Indonesia has the largest portion of tropical peatlands and mangroves. Other significant areas occur in Peru and the Congo. We're talking about 5 million for hectares of peatlands. That means economy, that means food, that means wildlife, that means money. We learned that those big peatlands has huge, huge amount of carbon below ground. There's a new opportunity to look for not just to solve the local problems, but also to do a lot of mitigation in climate change. Alors, moi, je j'interviens donc euh, au nom de deux pays, donc euh, la République démocratique du Congo et la République du Congo. Nous avons des tourbières chez nous, dans les deux pays, mais c'est des tourbières qui sont encore vierges. Mais euh, à très court terme, sinon à moyen terme, il est fort possible qu'il y ait des, des interventions dans ce genre de milieu euh, si sensible. Notre, notre présence ici en Indonésie nous permet de voir quels peuvent être les problèmes qui se poseraient demain lorsque ces, 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 ces tourbières du Congo it's very comforting for me as an activist when we learned that the Indonesian government fully realized that pitland fires are the worst and uh, pitland should not be opened. Uh, all remaining pitland have to be uh, conserved, protected, the remaining healthy pitlands. We have about 15 million hectares of pitland, half of them, about half of them are still intact. We're going to protect that. How can we say to people that you have to care, that we have to try to reduce deforestation when people don't even know what are the values of forests? How can we get them to, um, to appreciate that something is being lost when they don't even know what is being lost, yeah? The community, you will not just uh, force them to go to the city and uh, take a new job instead of going to the pitlands and get other resources. Communities will always uh, stay in that side and then, and then uh, what, what resources near to them is, uh, is actually what they utilize, they use.